Global National with Robin Gill. I'm Christina Stevens. The last place you'd expect to find art is at a shooting range, but we'll introduce you to a Canadian artist who uses a gun as his paintbrush. It's coming up on Global National. An artist puts his reputation on the line. A gun is his paintbrush, the bullets his paint. But it's what he does with them that's causing the controversy. That's next. Victor Mittich is a well-established Canadian artist known for his distinct approach to painting. Prime Ministers past and present are collectors of his unique work, but not everyone agrees his portraits are crafted in good taste. As Christina Stevens explains, in his new exhibit set to open next week, he's taking a shot at proving a point. In a shooting range, this is exactly what you expect to see. But Victor Mittich is blasting preconceptions by using a tool that's as far from art as can be. Something that usually is used to destroy rather than create. The gun is the paintbrush, the bullet, the paint, the holes and powder burns bringing his canvases to life. Some works taking thousands of shots. All of his targets are icons. Images people are bombarded with every day. For some, the connection to guns is obvious. The title of this painting is Dallas, and I think I shot about 500 rounds of, of ammunition here. And some of the images likely to trigger controversy. And it's those that the curator of this gallery finds most powerful. The people will ask themselves why. Walter Moe's reply is that wars of religion have ravaged the world. We are always warring with religion. And unfortunately, that's the truth. It's a bulletproof truth. <laughs> it was War Midditch had in his sights when he started bullet painting, disturbed by scenes of villagers and soldiers desecrating churches in Kosovo. Seeing a person with a gun that has no of a different faith going and shooting at the, an image of uh, somebody holy. His aim is to create that feeling of loss in other people, provoking them into questioning how they treat what's sacred. Using the most powerful po possible medium to create uh, an object of beauty or object of faith. So, if was that possible? The answer, he says, is for you to decide. Christina Stevens, Global News, Toronto.